Hello. If um, any of you guys are having problems with uh, Broken Edge VR, um, this is what I did to get the game to work. The problem I was having was I would launch the game, I would hear a clicking noise, like a door opening, I wouldn't see anything, everything was black, and then the game would crash. Um, I later did some tests where I made sure Steam VR wasn't running, and I was able to see the the intro and then realize that that noise was actually a trebuchet. Um, but once I got to the calibration part of the game, um, Steam VR would launch and it would crash my game. So uh, I think it's at least in my case, it was the added lag was uh, crashing. It was crashing the game. I think the game was made in Unity. Um, so there was something going on there, but um, this is how I fix the problem with uh, Broken Edge. I am using a uh, Vive Cosmos Elite. Um, I haven't had this problem with any other games. I haven't played too many VR games, so really only Pavlov and VR Chat. So it might also help with other games. So first thing you do is go to your start. Type in Advanced. Um, Click View Advanced System Settings. All right, this should pop up. Make sure you're in the Advanced tab. Under Performance, hit Settings. After that, in your Performance Option tab, hit Advanced, and then hit Change. And this will pull up, pull up your virtual memory. Now, I originally had this checked. It was like this, and this was grayed out. Make sure you have this unchecked custom size. Initially um, just put it at 6000 but maximum size is dependent on how much RAM you have. So if you don't remember how much RAM you have right click on your bar hit task manager. Over on your task manager hit performance and it should tell you how much memory you have. So 15.9 that means I have 16 gigs of RAM so that's why I have 16 oh 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 that's 16 gigs it's very important you hit set or none of this will work hit sit set hit OK I'm gonna hit cancel because I already did this um, you must restart your computer after doing this part it will not take a hold. I think there's even a warning message that Windows give you. Restart your computer. Um, that doesn't fix it. Um, this is only if you have a NVIDIA GPU. Type in NVIDIA. Go to your control panel. Um, once you're in your control panel, make sure you're in Manage 3D Settings. Um, and make sure the Program Settings tab is clicked. Once you've clicked that, you have to hit add. Um, in your recently used, um, look for broken edge.exe. Um, you might have to scroll a bit, you know. If it's not there, you're going to have to manually find broken edge. Um, maybe you didn't launch long enough for it to even register in this. I don't know. Um, you'll have to look um, for a separate tutorial on how to, how to find the file path. For, for a Steam game. Um, so select it, because you can use browse to like browse for it in particular. Um, but in my case, it was on this list. I clicked it, add selected program. I believe the reason why we're doing this is because you're, if you're doing PC VR, um, things could get confused on what graphics card to use. Um, this is just making sure it's using your primary um, for having a having a set settings and managed settings. It should make sure it doesn't try to use an onboard GPU or maybe you're using a Quest that's hooked to a computer. I don't know. Um, again, I'm using Vive um, and uh, should work. Um, make sure you restart your computer, um, like I said earlier. Um, I was able to launch the game both by just having all of my VR stuff off and just using the using the Steam Quick Link. 
um, and I was also able to launch it within Steam VR itself. So it fixed all of my problems with the game, and then hopefully it helps you guys too. Alright.